Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> oh god, what's happening? I think I crashed it. No, seriously. Um, today we're going to... Actually, at first, welcome to the 17th episode of the Java Game Development Series. And today we're going to put these two things here together. We got this box and we got this ball. Um, like I told you earlier, we can put multiple fixtures on one body. And right now we have two bodies. So every body is something that moves individually from everything else. And right now um, everything in the scene moves individually from everything else. The ball has its own body and this box has its own body. But now we just want one body for both of them, so we can attach them together. And yeah, which will result in both of them always having the same relative position to each other. Um, cool, so let's get started. The first thing we want to do is we move the ground down there under the box because it's in the way and I get pretty cool emails these days um, then we want uh, just just to show this a little bit more um, let's move the body dev up there and the fixture dev where is it there's a fixture dev where we create these two just to show that they are just a definition and absolutely independent from what's going down here, what's going on down here, where we where we set them um, some values to create stuff with them. So we want to create the ball after we created the box. So right now we have the body definition and the fixture definition pretty much empty. Then we create the box and we set all this stuff to the fixture definition. We get the box body, we create the fixture on it. And then we create the ball. So now the only difference, right now it, it's exactly the same. You see, it's, it's the exact same. Just restructured uh, code. Uh, the only difference that we want to have is that we don't want to create two bodies but we want to add both of these things, both of the, the ball, both these shapes, both the fixtures, however you want to put it, on one body. So we just need one world.create body, body dev, because if you call it twice, we have two bodies. We just want it once. But still, we want to create the fixture. Where are we going to create that on? Well, since they should both be on the same um, body, we have to get the body of one of those. And right now, we have this box here and the box is actually the world.createBody which returns the body. So we have this body of the box. Let's just go ahead and add the ball to the body of the box. That's it. That's all we need to do. Um, so now we can actually remove this whole body definition up here because this is for the, yeah, for the body but we just need one body. All we have left now is the ball shape, which we obviously need, and the fixture definition with the physical properties of the ball, well, and obviously the shape. Um, I just want to tell, say here again that the box has other physical properties than the shape, uh, than the <laughs> than the ball. Um, the ball has a density of 2.5 kilograms while the box has a density of 5 kilograms per squared, uh, squared meter. Um, so we have two things of different weight on, yeah, on the same body attached together. Uh, also, the ball has a higher restitution and a different friction than the box. So this is just like with the example that I made a few episodes ago. I don't know which episode, but if you watch that, um, I had paint open and actually I can do that again. <laughs> if it opens up, which would be pretty cool, there it is. So we had 
this um, thing here from a pencil and this is actually the pencil so there we go we said we create this all on one body and we mark the body position with a dot and these three f things are now fixtures so this part actually this part of the pencil can have different physical properties than this or this part which is the exact same thing here in the code the different parts of the same body have different physical properties um, I think this is, I hope this is enough explaining on this let's just see how it looks absolutely amazing isn't it um, the <laughs> yeah we have these two fixtures with uh, different physical properties which we can see because if we if we bounce this if we let this crash down on the ground um, the restitution from the ball pushes it back up there we go if, if we just had the box this would not happen um, on the other on the other hand let's try to get this done which is pretty complicated ah can I get it in this position can I get it in this position? Ah, oh, shit, shit, shit. No! Damn it. I'm too stupid to do that. There we go. Uh, now the box is touching the ground, and the box has a restitution of dot one f Is that correct? Yeah. So this is pretty less. If we hammer this on the ground, it's not bouncing up this much at all. Um okay but this is not really making sense probably we want the ball to be a little bit above this box so it could be a head of a player or something um, which is also pretty simple to do again um, yeah how the fixture is looking and yeah the shape of the fixture is defined by these shapes um, we wanna move the ball shape up relative to the position of the body so we can go ahead and just say ball shape dot set position give it a new vector to and this is now relative to the body so right now we have zero zero that is the exact same thing as just not writing this has the exact same effect but if we want to move it up on the y-axis we can say for example, um, well, how wide is this box? How, how high? It's one meter high, and we have to always uh, to think from the origin. So the origin to the top would be half a meter, and we could say let this be at half a meter, which would look like this. We moved it up the half of the box height. Um, we could also move it up a whole meter. How would that look? Yeah, like this. This looks like a head a little bit, but still, this this is not what my head is looking like, at least. Um, so that's probably 1.5f. Yeah, that's better. Um, now the ball. Oops, what's happening? Um, you can also see the higher restitution of the ball here pretty well how it's going up on the side of the ball and not off the side of the box how it's bouncing on that side um, so yeah one thing that you probably don't get the idea of immediately when you see this is that actually these two don't even have to touch they can be meters from each other and they are still together tied together so now if this box there falls over the relative position of the ball is always going to be the same and there it falls and yeah it bounces up because of the high restitution but anyway they are all in the same um, relative position to each other so where is the body position now you might think the body position is in the middle of these two fixtures but it actually isn't the body position is still at zero zero right here this is also why the camera is always looking at the box um we could also change that that the box is at y10 which would be over there and the ball is down there but we just didn't do it like that so yeah i hope you got this concept of how the things are attached together 
and also the density it's now way harder to to actually put this thing on its feet because yeah this ball is up there and you know if you have something long in your hand and you have to hold it it's w uh, heavier it feels heavier and I think you know what I mean it falls over way easier than 1.5 well you don't really see it but who cares I hope you got what I mean anyway um, that's not all that I wanted to do in this episode. Let's actually add the ability to zoom in and zoom out. Well, that's not really this complicated. Um, in the input controller, which is an input processor, there is this method called scrolled. And yeah, we just want to overwrite this. Scrolled. Return true as usual. And at first, let's terminate the application, yeah. Uh, let's see how much this amount variable is that we get here. What is this? Well, it's not complicated as well, but we just want to see it. And there it goes. Okay, so now I zoom out. If I zoom out, this amount is 1 and if I zoom in the amount is minus 1 so this is just giving us the direction that we are zooming in uh, that we are scrolling in otherwise this would not really make much sense we could just scroll in one direction so the camera actually has um, yeah a variable inside it called zoom and by default zoom is set to 1 1 is for 100 percent so if you take anything times 1 it stays the same if we set dot 5f we just had the half half the uh, yeah viewport width and viewport height so we would just see the half therefore everything would be double as big and there it is double as big um, but we want to be able to actually zoom so just do a little bit of math in your head, it's not this complicated because I suck at math and you get this. Don't forget to put this F here. Um, I'll show you what this does. Well, it zooms in and out um, and if we remove this F you will end up with no, th no zooming at all because we divide an integer by another integer so we can only get an integer and no float float values um, so yeah here we go zooming all fine plus equals the amount divided by 25 pretty simple plus equals 1 divided by 25 so plus equals um, a fourth uh, to this one and plus means if we zoom out we get a positive amount and if we zoom in amount is negative so plus something negative is also going to be negative um, just like minus would be but anyway I think you can do this little bit of math in your head and that's it usually I'd say don't forget to update the camera matrices again then but this camera dot update is called right here anyway and actually if we call the uh, the update to um, yeah to add to update to recalculate the matrices in the render method, we don't have to do it on the resizing here. It's just not necessary. Um, so yeah, this is what we get from this episode. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and learned something, which is why I'm doing this. So yeah, hopefully see you in the next episode. I don't know what we're going to do then but it's going to be something with box OD. Um, yeah, long blah 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 outro, uh, have a good day, whatever, see you next episode. Thanks for watching. <laughs>